Hey guys, how's it going? Tim here from Droid Life, and today I'm going to be giving you a brief hands-on and kind of overview of the Favi Smart Stick. Um, the Smart Stick is an H, like an HDMI um, Android device, so you can stick it into, say, an HDMI port on a TV or a monitor, such as I have here. Um, and basically, it brings an Android OS right to your TV, which allows you then to download apps, play games, browse the web, use Netflix or whatever you want right on your TV that doesn't have that stuff built in, or you know anything like that. Um, so I don't have it running on a TV, so I'm not going to have any sound, but I have it running on my mon my work monitor, which will give you a basic idea of uh, the smart stick. So basically the smart stick, it runs um, 1080p out, it uh, is powered by a Cortex A9 processor at just uh, 1 gigahertz. So it's not too powerful, and it only has a gig of RAM. So basically, it's not the most powerful thing, but then again, the price kind of, you know, it matches that. Um, 4 gigs starts at $50, and 8 gigs starts at $80. So again, with the if you go with the $50 option, you're kind of limited in what you can do, since 4 gigs is not going to allow you to download a bunch of games and all that fun stuff. I already have Angry Birds installed, and I'll just show that off, and then I have Netflix installed, which I'll show off. Um, you have access to Google Play, so anything that you can download, say for a tablet or a, like a Google TV, you can download onto here. So basically, I'll go through some of the apps and kind of the UI and show you what's up. Um, they sent me the SmartSick wireless keyboard, which I have right here. And the keyboard itself is actually kind of nice. The buttons, it actually, it feels they're kind of raised. So it reminds me of the OG Droid keyboard when it had the bubbled keys, which isn't too bad. It brings back some fond memories. And then it has a little trackpad here. So which then um, kind of controls the UI. Basically, you can either have, it. you can use the directional arrows to control where you want to go, or you can have a mouse go along and then tag what you want to do. So for starters, let's check out the um, Google Play Store. I mentioned we would do, load that up. See what kind of goodies we get. It's running uh, Android 4.0.4, .4, so ice cream sandwich, not jelly bean. So again, I mean, it's kind of, it's running old software, running weak hardware, but then again, starting at $50, and you know, bringing that kind of functionality to a TV that doesn't have apps built in like smart TVs do, it's kind of a win-win. Um, the price isn't too bad, but 4 gigs, again, isn't, you know, the best. So we'll check out apps here in Google Play. And so yeah, as you can see, it reads it as a tablet. So it's not going to have, like, the most apps as we know because Android doesn't have too many tablet apps, or tablet optimized apps, excuse me. Um, basically it's just a regular old Google Play, nothing, nothing too different. You can, yeah, like I said, download anything that uh, you may desire that would work on an Android tablet or you know Android basic device uh, we'll go back home here so on the keyboard you have uh, like I said you got that keypad but over that you have uh, sorry that white background is kinda giving me poor poor lighting um, you have a home your recent apps back and a search functionality which uh, search function excuse me again uh, the keyboard's pretty sweet. We'll open up, uh, which it, the keyboard helps when you're playing games such as like Angry Birds and all that. But here, I'll show you off some Netflix real quick. Even though we don't have any sound, I'll try and make it fun anyways. I will say one thing. It does that. Like, it'll it'll go to a black screen for a little bit while it's loading something. Kind of frustrating. Not the biggest deal. But it does have uh, that as a small issue. So, here's your basic Netflix UI. Nothing too special. Um... Oh boy, we could watch some Drive or Family Guy and like I could do the voices. That would probably be awful though. Um, yeah, basic Netflix. And yeah, I mean this is going to be one of those selling features like, oh, bring Netflix to your non-smart TV through HDMI. I mean, pretty classy. We'll go back home. And for the fun of it, I will show off some Angry Birds because I love Angry Birds. Alright, Angry Birds. Nope, let's restart this level. I'll just show you the basic little function here. So we're on level one. whoop de doo And we're going to scroll my little mouse over. There might be another way to do it, but this is the quickest way I learned how to do it. 
So, and then there's some, um, like a right mouse trigger and left mouse button clicker, sorry. And so we just hold on him, press down on it, then drag it back with our thumb, and then release. And there he goes. And of course, as much as I like Angry Birds, I can't say I'm the best player, clearly. Oh, wait, never mind. Bonus points. Booyah. That's a three star right there. Come on. Three stars, baby. Three stars. No way can that not be three stars. Excellent. So there it is. I mean, all that can be right on your uh, big screen TV in the living room or on a monitor that possibly has speakers attached to it. Mine just doesn't. I run it through a separate system. Um, I'll take you into settings here real quick. So we go under settings, and then, so they have this little UI going on, um, they have their own browser, you can set the wallpaper, check your storage, display, and then we can go to about device, and we'll go down here to the bottom, we'll scroll on down, and then here at about device we have Android 4.0.4, and all the other, it's kind of, you know, right in here it's stock Android ice cream sandwich. So, and then from here you control your access points and USB, Ethernet, and all that. So, we'll go back home. Um, not too much to show off. You know, the it's not the fastest thing, but it's fast enough to kind of do what you want it to do. Say we want to find some... We want to find Droid Life. And then that, of course, is going to also depend on your home internet connection. It works through Wi-Fi. So, yeah, there it is. We'll pull up some Droid Live, see what's going on the site currently. It's MWC this week, so a whole bunch of fun stuff is getting announced. Let's see, yeah. So far, we're getting no love. There it goes. Come on, ice cream sandwich. Um, I thought that since it has this little trackpad here, again, the bad lighting because of the white background, but um, I thought since it had the trackpad, maybe it would do some uh, pinch to zoom, and as far as I could tell, that did not work, and like two finger scrolling does not work either, you just have to use the uh, scrolling feature, and boy oh boy, does this site not, not fit well through the smart stick. This is real, folks. This is this is how it looks. <laughs> can't uh, can't make that pretty. So I'm guessing I could go all the way down to the bottom and sort of get our mobile look, but yeah, I can't. I can't make it small or anything. And now it's just stuck going down, which is oh look at that. I can't even get to our mobile site from here. Interesting. I mean, this is just uh, I'm just trying to show you what it's really like to use it. Um, it also has a built-in camera, but of course, that should just force close. Yeah, it can't connect to camera. Man, I would think not, because there is no camera attached to it. But I'm guessing through a USB peripheral, you might be able to. So either way, this is a, a like I said, a brief overview of the Navi Smart Stick. Starts at 50 bucks for four gigs. Uh, $40 for the controller. If you don't get the controller, it also comes with like a little remote which you can tr uh, control it with just fine, but this kind of brings like the keyboard functionality and the little mouse. So, yeah, if you think you like it, you can check it out on their site, and yeah, enjoyed life. Hope you had a good one. Peace.